Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. Hello, Boring Review Nation. Yay. <laughs> You're in the wrong place again, Nick. Come on. <laughs> I, I had to put the star first, or the star first. There he is. Nick here, and we are ready to check out another trailer reaction here at Born Reviews. We are obsessed with trailers like you guys are if you're watching this reaction. And so a brand new one just got dropped for a movie called Cherry. And Gabe, I don't know too much about this, but all I do know is this is written by Anthony and Joe Russo. The screenplay is, I'm sorry, it's directed, directed by Anthony and Joe Russo from a screenplay by and Angela Russo Ostot and right. Jessica Goldberg based on a novel of the same name. That's all I know. And I just Googled that part. Um, right. It stars Tom Holland, which of course we know is Spider-Man and he's got some other things like Uncharted coming up and different things. Right. So Anthony Joe Russo directing, doesn't that get you pumped up? You know, it does get me, it, it does get me pumped up. Uh, seeing it's funny seeing these MCU actors outside of the mcu you realize man they got some acting chops chris evans has some acting chops if you have not seen snowpiercer people watch snowpiercer he's amazing in snowpiercer in knives out he's amazing as well we Thanks. just uh, uh recently talked about extraction um on our top 10 videos right and, and of course not been dropped yet because i'm in charge of that one it is what it is people but you know what I mean? Like, once we drop, you'll see how we talk about extraction and Chris, Ev not, uh, Chris Evans, the other Chris is in there, Chris Hemsworth is in yeah. there. So seeing them outside of these uh, uh, Marvel properties, it's interesting because you remember, oh yeah, these guys actually have some acting chops. People forget, okay? Robert Downey Jr., bro, the guy is an unbelievable actor. This guy goes back to the 80s and- Academy Award nominated for Chaplin and whatnot, yep. Yeah, this guy's been in so many movies, so- I'm excited to check this out. Plus, Tom Holland is just such a cool kid, man. I remember the the whole goof where he accidentally oh, like happened a uh, million times. Drop, yeah, he's done it like a million times. But what are they gonna do? Fire him? He's so lovable or whatever. But accidentally, he's giving up titles to movies and and, and oh, well, was that supposed to show the, the poster? <laughs> they, they didn't know about that. Oops. <laughs> oh man, he's hilarious. Yeah, he, he is hilarious, and it's it's nice to see, and you see it a lot, but it's nice to see actors and directors not just bank on one or two main roles, and I'll just wait till the next Spider-Man comes out. I mean, Tom Holland, Holland, you know, comes on the scene in the film Impossible, which is on Netflix right now as a younger kid. Um, he's in ballet, and he's in Broadway and whatnot. This guy is very talented. He's not just a one-note guy. Anthony and Joe Russo, I mean, these guys are all over the place. Like you said, Extraction. I think they did the, what, the 21 Bridges movie. They did all these different things. They've got their hands in it in some way. This is actually directed by them, by them. So I have no idea what it's about. I'm excited to jump into it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate what we're doing here. And we're going to start this trailer off. It's uh, almost three minutes long, so that's nice. All right. In three, two, one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's a Tom Holland thing right there, dude. <laughs> wow, that's one way to do it. I'm 23 years old, and sometimes I wonder if life was wasted on me. Jeez. Apple original I take all the beautiful things to heart until I about die from it. If I could save time and Hey, I'm really happy you're here. Why is that? Because I like you. But there never <laughs> seems to be enough time to do. You're it for me. I feel the same way. I joined the army. Why would you do that? Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. Jeez. <laughs> and it's a nightmare. You're not expected to go there. My one true accomplishment Whoa. was not dying. I 
have this noise in my head. It'll stop. One day it'll go quiet. I don't imagine that anyone goes in for a robbery if they're not in some kind of desperation. I've been at this a while now, and it's no secret what my face looks like. Get on the ground! The one thing about robbing banks is you're mostly robbing women, so the last thing you want to be is rude. <laughs> Damn, it's nothing personal. <laughs> Yes. I love you. Can you look back to when you met the one you loved the most? Do you remember exactly how it was? What you saw in her that made you say, yes, this is what I came here for. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. And it's a nightmare. Wow. Seriously. I was going to say, is that going to be on Apple TV? Of course it is. March 12th in theaters. Wow. On the 26th, though. So they give it to us. Okay. They give it to the theaters first, and then they give it to um, uh, uh, Apple TV. You know, Apple TV, I've only seen one or two of their original content. I saw C with um jason momoa that was actually pretty good um this was powerful bro the, i may be completely off but just from this short clip this to me seems like the kind of film that they enter into um you know like like those sundance kind of uh, festivals or whatever because i mean you could see the emotionality and the content uh, uh uh that they're covering as well like man this is it, 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 it looks impressive, man. I mean, I, I have never, yeah. nor have you ever been in the military before, but we both have uh, close relatives and friends that have been. And, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. Whether you go on deployment or not, from what I hear, it, it's, it's very, very tough. And when I first watched this, I'm like, why would he be a bank robber and then join the military? Obviously, it's the other way around. I'm right. assuming when he goes into the military, he gets a deployment, different right. things. He sees things. And I'm not sure if him choosing the life of crime is a result of something happened to his, his love. Maybe she died. Maybe she's sick. Maybe it's a John Q situation where he needs some money fast. Right. Or maybe he's just so messed up. This is how he copes with it. Right. And he's, she's still alive and he's still trying to deal with that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, that part makes it interesting to me. But you're right. I mean, this is like a really serious, dramatic film dealing with crime, dealing with the lasting effects of the military. You have this this character who's breaking the fourth wall, like very Ryan Reynoldsy and whatnot right. in there. I love that thing about how you got to be polite because usually it's women or whatever, nothing personal, lady. <laughs> but it's it's interesting. Like Joe and Anthony Russo, I mean, these guys do the Civil War. These guys do Endgame and Fanny Wars. But they have many stories to tell. And this one looks like a very personal story, maybe not ref directly reflected to their life, but things that they've talked to people about or had experiences with. Obviously, it's based on a novel, so maybe I'm reading too much into that. And they just it was a project they wanted to direct, but it's it definitely looks very top notch. Like I said, maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but I feel like this is those type of entries that you can see it being like a, a, a worthy Oscar nod. And I know it's super early for that; I haven't even watched the yeah. film. But these are the kind of films that get the kind of uh, 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 um you know, the, the nods at a Sundance or, you know, those kind of festivals or cans. And then it gets so much buzz because not only is it dealing with the serious subject, but you still have his quirkiness in there. But what you got to see was like a darker side of him there. And, and, and you realize how a lot of these people are c coping with PTSD or whatnot. I was Air Force ROTC, man. And that's officer training school at UNLV. And that's officer training at UNLV. And I can tell you... That was rough. I could only imagine what the enlisted branch goes through and, and what, especially if you've been deployed overseas and you see those horrific things, how do you purge that from your mind when you get back home? And I think that that's the point. You really don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and oh, I'm, I'm excited to watch this film. I'm excited to march, watch this film. Who knows if by February, uh, uh, theaters are back open and, and um, I feel comfortable just like uh, with the situation, I might go watch it in theaters, support the film there. 
I'm not exactly sure where the title comes from. I mean, maybe it's from the phrase popping your cherry. Maybe it could be mean different things, not just the typical way of using that phrase. But Tom Holland, this guy can act. And his, his character in this movie seems like someone who's just completely given up, which is sad, right? It's very, very sad, but it, it looks very well made. It had like some of the shots and some of like the uh, sarcastic um, attitude and tones of some of the film reminded me of, like a Juno just in that way. Very different than a Juno film, but I, I'm very intrigued. Very ex excited to see what they can do with this. The question is, what do you all think? Don't forget to like and subscribe in the comment section. Let us know what you think about it. Do you have inside information? Are you excited, not excited for it? And let us know, you know, is Tom Holland as good of an actor as we're saying he is? Let us know. Thank you so much for joining us in this reaction. And until next time. We know all things. <laughs>